episode of the Marvel Chess Collection. Uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at Magazines uh, 24, which is Ant-Man, and Magazines 25, uh, which is Black Widow. And we also have our third fantastic, well, third uh, special collector's piece, which is Doctor Doom. Um, so really looking forward to opening him up and taking a look at him as well. So yeah, um, we've got three characters to review today. Uh, let's crack on and we will start with Magazine 24 and take a look at Ant-Man. So here we are, I've taken him out of the box and here is our next white pawn and it is Ant-Man. Uh, let's take a closer look. Starting with the head, uh, we've got uh, metallic silver paint on top of um, this kind of pale skin. Uh, he's got two antennae there at the top which stick out, similar to Wasp. And he's kind of got this apparatus here that comes around the front of his face. I think this looks pretty cool, there's no real paint issues here. So really pleased with that. Moving down we've got this black and red outfit. So he kind of has a black neck and then black running down the front here down to the belt and he has black gloves. So far, I must say, I think I'm pretty impressed with the paint job so far on this guy. No blemishes or smudging so far. So we've got good muscle detail here on the back. And he has a black belt uh, with this silver buckle. Trying to get it to focus there on the buckle so we can take a closer look there. So there is the buckle detail. Moving down, as part of this all in one piece, we've got these black tight trousers. And again, we've got really good muscle definition here on the trousers. And on the knees. And then he has black boots. So all in all, pretty pleased with that man. I think the paint job's pretty top job on this guy. And then we've just got the usual white pawn base and the padding on the bottom. So I'm going to go and add him to our white pawns on the board here. Just taking a look at the magazine. Here we have uh, Ant-Man charging forward. Uh, another picture of Ant-Man there, and then a picture of the figure here. So Ant-Man, while several heroes have taken on the role of Ant-Man, often using modified costume designs, the original costume created by Hank Pym, later used by Scott Lang, remains the best known. The sculpt reflects the otherworldly quality of this amazing hero. So anyone who doesn't know what Ant-Man can do, he can shrink to the size of an ant. So we've got some pictures of him here with the Avengers. And we've got the usual comic book tales of Ant-Man. And then we've got quite a cool picture there in the middle where we've got the vision on there, Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, Scarlet Witch and Ant-Man all right at the front and we've got Wasp and a few others so that's pretty cool, that's a cool little poster. And then we've got more tales of Ant-Man, obviously Ant-Man will be uh, one of our movie Avengers soon. Um, they are making an Ant-Man movie which 
should be pretty awesome. So you'll definitely learn more about Ant-Man once stuff gets released if you haven't read the comics. Uh, we've got a picture of Hawkeye there. So as you can see, Ant-Man is a white pool. And on the back it just showcases our next magazine which is Black Widow. And that is the one we're going to take a look at next. Okay guys, so here is our Black Widow piece. Um, as you can see, uh, she has all the trademarks of Black Widow. So with the, she has the auburn red hair. Oh, <laughs> bit out of focus there. Eh? Auburn red hair and uh, she has pale skin. Uh, she has her pistols and she has her black cat suit that she wears um, in a lot of many of the comics and the movies. So once again, I've just taken a look at this character. Um, again, you can see that the paint is looking pretty good again. Um, the eyes line up nice and straight and we don't have any blemishes or smudging on the face there. As you can see she has green eyes. Then we can just take a look at the pistol there which has nice detailing and paint also. Uh, she has these silver cuffs to her outfit and she has a zipper here um, just above the breasts. And then we can see her other arm is holding another pistol with these same details and then just looking at the body well, she's is a, a slim lady and she has uh, these kind of the silver belt which comes around her whole body there which looks pretty cool again Paint looking pretty good on this one. No real smudging there. And then coming down to the thighs, uh, she has holsters here, which she can attach her guns to on her thighs, which look pretty cool. And then she just has a black ankle length boots, as usual. Just like Ant-Man, the white pawn base with the felt padding on the bottom. So I have to say, once again, looking really good. No breakages, no bad paint. So far, so good with this particular delivery, looking really good. So let's add Black Widow to our white pawns. So as you can see here we are only two white pawns away from having a complete collection of heroes. So they're lining up pretty nicely there. Take a look at magazine 25. So we've got some seductive looking We've got a seductive looking picture here on the front of Black Widow with her zipper done down to her belly. So I guess that looks good. Black Widow. So Black Widow is a formidable agent, a former Soviet Union, uh, Soviet U, I can't talk today, a former Soviet then US spy, Avenger and champion with decades of espionage and experience and extensive martial arts and firearms knowledge. Her amazing skills make her the ideal white pawn for infiltrating enemy territory. So everyone I imagine watching this video is familiar with Black Widow, obviously the Scarlett Johansson character um, from the, the uh, Marvel movies starring many times in the Avengers, starred in Iron Man and she's also starred in sort of the Captain America film. I think it's Captain America 2. So, poster here in the middle. That looks pretty cool, I think. And then, as usual, we've got the usual tales of 
Black Widow and her dealings with the other Marvel characters. And we've got some pretty cool pictures in here. Some cool comic book art. So yeah, there we go. That's Black Widow. Pretty awesome little piece. And again, she is a white pawn. On the back here, it just showcases our next character. He will be a Quicksilver. So he will be another white pawn. So once we've got him, we'll only be one point one one white pawn away from completing the white team. So pretty awesome. That's magazine twenty-five. Now let's take a look at the uh, premium subscription character, which today is Doctor Doom. Okay, guys. So here is our Doctor Doom piece, and I've got to say he is looking Doctor freaking awesome. Eat. Obviously, this is our third premium subscription piece, and I've got to say, each one of them are pretty. You know, they're a step. They're a, what's the word? They're a step above the other characters in terms of how solid they are, how well they're painted, and how awesome they look. See, so we've so far we've had Human Torch there, and the Thing both of which are brilliantly detailed and really sturdy pieces and Doctor Doom meets that criteria once again so he has a a silver face with this green uh, cape and hood then he has these huge muscly silver arms with silver gloves then he has a black belt with a gold buckle and his green surcoat coming down to the upper thighs then once again he has silver legs and knee plates so the armour on this guy is looking absolutely fantastic and he is a black king so we now have two black kings uh, so we have Red Skull and we have Doctor Doom but how awesome does he look If, you, if you're not a premium subscriber then I feel a little bit sorry for you right now because the characters that we're getting through that subscription are pretty fantastic. So uh, we only get a mini magazine uh, just like with the other two, just a small magazine talking about Doctor Doom. There he is, fighting the Fantastic Four. And there we go, Dr. Doom. So, tell you what, let's put Dr. Doom in his king position and just move Red Skull out there for a second. There we go. Doesn't he look like a formidable king? Stands well above. The other pieces that we've got there looking really awesome. So on our black team at the moment, we are missing one, two, three, four, five uh, pieces. So that's five plus two. So we are waiting on seven pieces, which is three and a half deliveries. And then we'll be done. How awesome does that look? So when you review every, indi every individual piece each week, you forget how awesome this set looks once it's all put together and displayed. And I'm really looking forward to completing this in three or four months time. It is going to look great. Anyway, so that is our Third Fantastic Four piece. Um, obviously, thanks for watching. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I do regular updates on the Marvel Chess Collection. Um, my next video is actually going to be uh, my second bonus episode, which is going to show us and show you uh, the Rocket Raccoon and Groot uh, special release. So, 
click on my channel and take a look at that video. Thanks for watching. My name is Brad. Have a good day.